Hello and welcome to Daily Sketch. It's 1131 uh, before noon in Olympia, Washington on April 25th, 2017. Today I'm going to try and do a trilobite. I'm using some reference on the other screen and uh, it's going to be like a fossil. So uh, yeah, let's pick a brush. I've set my uh, brush number eight to 33 bristles 33% bristles at a 21% size. We're going to put some blending on here. And we've got everything else set. Just copy these dials. So uh, first I'm going to do my background of the ground. I'm going to do a, uh, a like a pea green across everything in a very low uh, density. So something like, actually I want to be in a different brush for that part. So let's go to brush uh, one. Okay, and then we're going to just waft that down as a solid, basically. But, you know, it's not completely solid. Do a little diagonal this way in a very light um, density. I'm just filling in some of this stuff here because this is what we'll see in between. Next, I go to brush eight, which is my favorite brush of all brushes, as we know. Just because I'm good with chalk, I spent a long time with chalk in real life. And once I transferred my chalk skills to my digital skills, I really like it. Although I do, you know, a lot of other stuff. Paint with watercolor, paint with oil paints in this, paint with uh, acrylic uh, look and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> enough jabber jabber. Let's, uh, let's kind of create a texture. Uh... So we want to be a little more texture showing up there. So my opacity needs to be a little stronger. Let's see if we get something. There we go. We're getting a little something. So see, we're just breaking that up with some stuff. And then we're going to go even a little more opacity, which increases the darkness of the color. So you see it. See like that? That's kind of what I'm looking for for my textured background. Now you see the size of the brush affects the size of the texture, right? So if I come down like this, these pieces are not as large. And uh, that's another effect you can do. And you, you know, you want this random, you want to change the angle of your brush, which changes the angle of the stroke in, in these programs. And this is just, uh, again, we're throwing down a quick background uh, of rock of ocean sediment that's going to be the texture for this. So I'm getting this down, then I'm going to draw a trilobite in this. Um, unfortunately, this does take a little bit of time. I could start it with this without this, but then you probably would want to know how to do that. So I'm doing that also. Okay, now let's go to a little brighter shade, uh, like so. Some highlights to this. And so now we've got a rough texture. Now we want to add some more brush strokes into that. Our bris um, bristle size is a little bit small. We can go a little bit bigger and we can have more bristles. And then we come in with more texture, see. But by varying the brush size, by varying the brush strokes, by varying everything, you get that look that is not um, a uniform fake looking thing. A little more sediment here. And then we're going to go to uh, really some dark darks. Put that in light. Not too much pressure. And then I want to hit that with uh, a pea green and then I'll be into starting a trilobite. So there's kind of my ocean oh, texture. you got to get this brush over to here. Okay, and this can be detailed up even more and more and more and more forever, but that's good enough to start. Now let's go back to brush one. And we're going to select a size. We're going to be in the uh, black. Um, so I want a little bit of green in that black. So I'm going to come down to my green and I'm going to go up here just so it has you know more of a rich black. If you go straight black, it's black, but you can go with the green. 
And we're going to try and draw a, tr a trilobite. So let's uh, just kind of uh, let's be a little bit bigger and a little more density, and kind of do a stroke. Um, let's see. So what would be really interesting is to rotate the canvas and put it in mirror mode. So let's do uh, F1 or F5 and then rotate the canvas which is uh, shift control and alt key and then grab this like that and uh, does that do that? No. Okay. Let's rotate that back and let's just draw the trilobite. Yeah. And we should be in mirror mode so let's, uh, let's kind of see what we get here. Let's, uh, it's kind of an oval shaped creature. So we're going to come around. Uh, let's undo that one. Control Z. I don't like the way that spread out to the sides. i to be a little more careful with my freehand work. Okay, so I'm bringing it down. You see it's a rich black. It's got some green in it. And we could go a little denser. So we're going to do that, and then we're kind of following this line again. Uh, of course, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a fossil, and we'll do things with it. And then the trilobite is really, uh, it's kind of this shape up here, but it's um, its interesting. So it's a lot, reminds me of scarabs. You know, you come across like that, you're going to have some shape like this up here. You're going to have what looks like spine work. So kind of come out like so, and then imagine a spine. You can be in a less density, so if you don't want that line to show up so much, maybe a little more, uh, like that. Okay, we're getting some guideline here. A little more density wouldn't help, wouldn't hurt. So coming down, coming down. There we go. Now let's draw some vertebrae in there. Let's uh, up the density a tad. <clears throat> if it doesn't get done, it doesn't get done. But this is the idea how to start. So, uh, you know, you can have your shapes. This is the advantage of a mirror mode if you teach yourself how to dink around in it, like I'm doing. Okay. Very interesting mode. And, uh,. You know, there's can even be uh, some spiny work through the center. Just a uh, waver in and out like that, and like that can be cool. Uh, and then you have your rays that go around from all these things. So they're kind of like curved, and they have a shape. So like so. Remember, we got 10 minutes. <laughs> So far, this is pretty good for 10 minutes. I'm giving myself a pat on the back for that because, you know, I go into these things uh, like a monkey. Just say, I'm going to do it. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Trial a bite. Now, each one of these uh, spiny looking things on the side have a division in them. And so you can do some of that cool stuff. I mean, if I was drawing this fossil, by the time I got done, it would be pretty sick. But I'm not going to take everything to finish art, as we know. So, now, let's come in with some gray. That has a, uh, you know, some kind of a tint to it. So, we want to be, it's kind of a, oh, I don't know what you'd call that gray. I'm just looking at it. It's kind of a muddy, murky, yeah, it's. See if I can get like a, I think it's just going to be gray, and then we're going to kind of go this way. There we go. And now we're going to try a little fill here. Uh, a little less density, but that's good. You can have, it has all these different uh, densities in it, so we'll kind of do like that. And then we'll come back and hit it with a lighter opacity, maybe. Find that right tone in between to get this started, bringing it out. And so, um, 
yeah, it's erratic, uh, the lighting, so I would just kind of, remember when you work on one side, you're working on both sides. That's the beauty of mirror image. So. I